Hi gang. I'm going to be a little short today, mainly because I'm uh, in a certain amount of pain. I pulled a muscle in my back, and uh, it makes pretty much everything unpleasant. Um, I can't sit in a particular position long before it starts to hurt. I can't lay down because it begins to hurt. Um, it, uh, I can sort of lean in particular ways and it'll stop hurting for a little while and then it'll start back up. I've done the icing and stuff. Um, I've even resorted to booze. Because why not? Anyways, um, despite, despite the fact that I'm a little boozed up and trying to uh, relax so that my back will hurt less, uh, it did cause me to start thinking about uh, the issue of uh, the, uh, dealing with challenges. Um, or making characters that have to deal with challenges. Um, there are games where you can take disadvantages for point benefit. And I have seen people do the ridiculous things. Oh, I'll be the paraplegic blah 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 so I can have this massive amount of power. And, yeah. That's that's not actually doing the thing with uh, with uh, the physical challenges, the handicaps that people actually have to deal with. But um, I can remember playing D and D back in the day, back when you had to roll up your stats. Uh, the rule books listed how to roll up your stats. You would roll up your stats. And you would scrap them if they were too terrible, but otherwise, you would sometimes end up with characters that were not optimized. They weren't built on points. And you could still have fun with those. Uh, and I think part of the thing that was fun was the lack of... Um, how to put this? Uh, the, the lack of optimization. The the working around the challenges that you had made the character more interesting. Um, and I found myself wondering how many people actually make characters that are flawed in that way on purpose uh, to have fun with the concept, to play with characters that have significant physical challenges or sensory challenges, or possibly even mental challenges, though I, um, I, I, I would be less comfortable playing somebody with, uh, you know, the, the various forms of n mental disability. Um, crazy is one thing, but most of the time when people play crazy, they're being, um, kind of silly about it, almost... I don't know, almost insulting about it. This is not to say that they mean to be, but that they're going for a caricature of what crazy people are like, rather than actually like crazy people. And crazy people being a, an insulting term that probably shouldn't be used. Um, they were sort of aping at people having a mental illness, but not actually going for reality, they're going for the image of what that is like. Um, and, uh, you know, in the physicality, uh, every once in a while you'll come across the guy who wants to play the character that's blind, but somehow doesn't have to pay for the fact that he's blind because he's got all these other things that make him like Daredevil and make him actually more badass than the guy who can see. Um, so it's less of a challenge. But do you think you could play a character that was, you know, actually physically challenged? You know, somebody who was bound in a wheelchair, 
uh, and not, you know, well, I'm bound with a wheel in a wheelchair, but I have godlike powers. But actually, you know, somebody who, who has those problems and those challenges are significant and real uh, and still have fun. I think you can. I think there's uh, games that can be played there and could be fun to do. Um, I, I think uh, it's certainly easier in games with a more narrative focus than, say, a, a combat engine focus. Um, D&D is not exactly built for it, but you can still have fun there. You know, the, play the guy who's uh, got some sort of maybe a wooden leg, um, you know, a pirate with a wooden leg. That's a classic trope. But actually playing it right, you know, playing it like, well, okay, this is a challenge, this is something that significantly influences his life, but still manages to live his life and be a, a capable member of the, the world around them. Uh, I, and, I don't know, um, but yeah, thinking about being in pain all day, which has prevented me from doing a bunch of stuff that I intended to do today, um, made me think about this. And whether or not playing with a particular handicap is not a, a great word, but yeah, a particular handicap, uh, a physical uh, challenge uh, or a sensory challenge that makes their lives significantly harder, uh, it actually affects their lives, uh, can be compelling and can be interesting, and you can still play heroes this way. Uh, and I think it's something that people people shy away from because they want to be the, the action hero, and in their perception, these challenges would prevent them from being the action hero. And in some ways, they're right. Um, you're not going to to really be able to portray somebody who's bound to a wheelchair that swings from the chandeliers um, not with any sort of believability. But you can play a character that is a hero with those challenges. Um, and I think uh, I, I think there's some space to be done, you know, some space to be explored there. Uh, uh, in particular, uh, I often play characters nowadays in LARPs with some physical limitations because I have physical limitations. Um, my knees are shot. I can't run. Uh, not safely, anyway. And um, so, you know, I play characters with those limitations. Um, I, I think that... Uh, uh, but I think in tabletop games, there's something to be done there. The, the key is not to turn it into a joke of a trope, I guess. Um, there are a lot of folks who will, who will do the, uh, you know, I'm deaf, but I'm daredevil. Or I'm blind, but I'm daredevil. Or, or uh, you know, sure, I'm confined to this wheelchair, but I have massive telekinetic power so I can move around and move mountains and such, but, you know, I'm st stuck sitting here. Um, you know, you're stuck sitting there, but your powers make it so that you can ignore the fact that you're stuck sitting there. So, you don't actually experience the challenge of it. Um, you know, playing it with the challenge actually affecting your life is harder. It's harder to conceive of. People who's never who've never had a uh, physical or mental or uh, sensory challenge uh, have a harder time conceiving of it, or at least have worked with people who have those problems uh, have a harder time conceiving of it. And uh, I think that maybe at once in a while we should spend some more time thinking about those challenges and playing a character with those challenges might uh, sort of change your perception uh, of that situation. I don't know. That's my uh, 
ramble for tonight. I am uh, I am in a certain amount of pain, uh, so I'm going to call it, and uh, I will yak at you tomorrow. Uh, subscribe, like, share with all the peoples, and uh, uh, oh yeah, good night. Yeah, night night.